What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 289 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. You guys are all having a great day. I feel like I need to change my intro up. I just kind of find it a little bit cringe, honestly, but it's the intro I've done for so long. And by so long, like a year and a half, two years, who even knows how long. Anyways, the seed is E-A-A-F-X-Y-X-2-C. We have above average tier rate, below average damage, decap attack, which we are going to trade out because decap attack is kind of useless now. Um, if you guys don't know, there used to be a glitch with decap attack that if you threw your head and retracted it midair, you'd instantly get your charge back as well. Maybe not instantly get your charge back, but the main thing was your head would just float around you and just do damage to enemies, which was really sick. Now it doesn't do that. But yeah, I was watching a video. I was watching, I've been watching a Trash Taste podcast a lot recently. Um, I actually really like their podcast. Not my favorite podcast. I've uh, like my favorite podcast is Tiny Meat Gang. They are some of the funniest guys. But Trash Taste is, I, I like them. They're, they're, they're very fun, very cool guys. I've never watched like any of their other content other than like, I saw like Connor whenever he collaborated with uh, Ludwig like a couple times. Just I, that's that's where I kind of heard about him. I was like mm, interesting, and I heard about Trash Taste a couple times. So I was like, might as well watch this, just because I like doing like I like listening to podcasts on my way to work. And TMG, I've listened to all their podcasts, and I they only release one podcast every week, which means I only have like an hour long podcast for many hours of driving during the week, which is unfortunate. But um, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, they were talking. They were talking about um, how like the "What's Up Guys" intro is kind of weird. Whenever they had Nile Red on, um, and how it's like just high, like high energy. I don't know the things. I'm not like a high, like super high energy person. I don't know why I started doing like the "What's Up Guys." What's up, guys? Because the thing is, I've like my friends and I have like also just like made fun of that. It's like it's kind of just weird. What's up, guys? I just think it's also kind of funny, but I, I don't know how else to start these specific videos. Like. I know whenever I do like an edited video, I, I I don't do like what's up guys most. Actually, did I do what's up guys? I think I might have done what's up guys in the ultimate Di guide to Bi or the ultimate guide to binding of Isaac. I don't know. It's just it's hard to think of other words to say. Maybe one day I'll figure out what to say. But for now, it's what's up guys. Cause I'm just like, should I just say welcome back everybody? Welcome back boys. Like that? Is that how I say it? No, that's also not inclusive. So, welcome back, lads and ladies. Good day, mate. <laughs> There's nothing good to say. Dang. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I just don't know what else like I can really replace it with. It just seems like there's not much else I can say. There probably is a lot I could say, but eh, I don't need that. Oh my gosh, sorry. I just had a yawn all of a sudden. I tried waking up a little earlier today. Today I had off from work. I always have Wednesdays off. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I have tomorrow off. Friday we don't have work ever, so I, I don't work Friday. And I also don't work Saturday, so I get a few days off um, in a row. And so I've just been trying to chill out. I'm trying to like just get some good sleep. Um, that's the main thing. And try to like get my sleep schedule not back in order like or anything. Just like sleep at decent times. Mainly because all my friends are gone. Um, or there was a, t a period of time. Or not really my friend CJ just got back from like a little trip that he was taking and so I was playing games with him and then at the same time my friends uh, the friends I went to the football game with uh, Emma and Caden they're not home so they're not playing games which was kind of weird but it meant like my that entire friend group wasn't really playing games because one of them had work and it was so it was just it was just a funky time where everybody was just gone and it still kind of is that time so Emma and Caden are on vacation and then the other two Alyssa and Carly they just went on vacation for Thanksgiving it's now it's just me of the group who's home and Ava available to do stuff but then my friend C just got back and everybody's just always gone people have work it's it's crazy so since there's so many people gone I don't expect to stay up super late playing games but will I still stay up super late playing games 100% Mainly because I've been playing up so late playing Pokemon recently. Uh, I caught another two shinies. Uh, I caught a shiny Iron Tread and a... I don't I can't remember the name of the Pokemon. But it's, it's the new Pokemon. It's the new hamster electric type Pokemon that they have. 
I caught it as a shiny. It's actually probably my favorite shiny I've caught so far, just because it's more interesting than the others. Uh, shy, uh, Iron tre Tread is just uh, Don, the Donfi, Don, Donovan, Don, whatever it is, the elephant Pokemon. It's just like the uh, robot version of that Pokemon. And it doesn't change anything other than making it just more silver. So it's like very, very boring. And it's really even, it, it's, it's very no noticeable that it's a shiny, but it's also not like, I mean, like if you t look at uh, side by side, you're like, yeah, that's a shiny. That's how all the shinies kind of work. There's like a kind of big difference because it usually has a big black strip going down its middle, but then they just remove that for the, the shiny. So it's just silver, like the rest of its body. So its whole body is just silver. Um, but the little hamster guy is pink. Which is so much more fun. Pink is a lot more fun than just boring old, <laughs> just silver. Which I do like Iron Treads. Getting, I, I've been getting only new Pokemon Shiny, which is very, very interesting to me. I, I don't know what the deal is. Also, I'm not going to go to Devil Deal. I don't think today's a Devil Deal day. I did my Divination, my Dowing Rod, and said no. Okay, I am been, I've been getting hit so often by these guys, seriously. I think it's just my damage is kind of low. Actually, my damage is at is actually pretty good. I'm just making excuses. That is what I figured out. Okay. Um, tears down really, really sucks. But we'll be fine. And my damage is actually good. It stayed at a good level because we got synth oil, synth, whatever it is. But yeah, so I caught those two new shinies. It was pretty, I was, I was just walking through, like I'm trying not to spoil anything. I was walking through this area that you unlock at some point later in the game before the very beginning of the run. That's all I'm gonna say trying to shiny not shiny hunt but just like walking around because I spawned a Pokemon that was trying to ca catch that was shiny um and same thing I was doing the same thing like earlier like some desert area where all I was doing was just trying to like I'm, I'm trying to get shiny birds I, I've, I've been saying I'm doing the bird meta I'm trying to only use bird Pokemon which I've done I beat the elite four last night I've only used bird Pokemon I have uh Quaxley the evolved version of that Corviknight uh Star Raptor uh, em empath Empathera, I think is what it is. It's Flalittle's evolution. Uh, Waddle. And Flame Talon, whatever it's called. Those are the three Pokemon, and their coverage is actually pretty insane. Like, it's not, like, super, super good. But the thing is, I kind of was over-leveled with my, my, my starter. So, when in doubt, as long as they weren't resistant, I could pretty much two-shot anybody. So... And then if they were resistant, usually the only, the Pokemon that were resistant to my starter were weak to one of my other Pokemon. The only issue was, like, all my Pokemon have one flying type move. So, like, one one move is just, there's a chance it's just not good. Which is unfortunate. But the Elite Four are pretty easy in this game, not gonna lie. It's kind of weird. The Elite Four members, I don't know if it's, I think they only had five Pokemon each. I might be wrong. They might have had six. I, can't, I don't know why I can't remember. It was literally last night that this happened. But it was just, it was honestly just under, not under underwhelming, but a little bit weird. Legends of Arceus and uh, this game have definitely been more story driven than anything, I would say. Uh, but it does seem like this game is going to have a lot more in terms of post game that you can do, which is pretty cool. I think it's really, really neat. Just because in other games, you beat the Elite Four and there's not much else to do. And I'm not trying to spoil anything, but you beat the Elite Four and there's still story. Um, and I've still not, I, I've been playing a bunch and still have not found the end of the story. So it seems pretty cool. I, I like it so far. I'm pretty excited for what else the game's going to offer. And it seems like they are planning to do DLC with this. I know they did some DLC with us, uh, uh, Sword and Shield, which. I don't know too much about. I, I feel like it wasn't super good. It kind of just added raids, which I don't know if raids were in the game. I just didn't play Sword and Shield. I think it's one of the only Pokemon games. There's actually been a lot of Pokemon games I haven't played. The last Pokemon game I had played before playing like Legends of Arceus and Brilliant Pearl or Shining Pearl or whatever. Um, the only ones I had played. Also, why am I still in lost form? The only ones that I played were, I played Y and X and Y, Black and White, I believe black, those two, and I also played Sun and Moon. And I don't know if I played anything else. I know not many games were released, but my first Pokemon Switch game was Legends of Arceus. So I don't know if that is an indicator of anything. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. We're just gonna go fight the boss real quick. I did get Spoonbender just because Spoonbender's really good. I do realize that sometimes I just go on like in the runs and just don't explain anything I'm doing or any of the items I'm picking up. I feel like I usually do a decent job at, at it, but sometimes it doesn't work. Also, one thing that's really weird is you would think that you would get hit right here if tears are being like shot up in the air, but you just don't get hit over rocks. I don't know what it is. I was watching Comet Bingo play once. She's like, listen, whenever you shoot those guys that just like put like a big, like just shoot tears straight up in the air after they die, just stand over a rock and you'll be fine. Because Comet ba Bagel does a lot of, um, or did Tainted Lost Streaks for a while. I don't know if she still does. I don't really keep up with what Comet Bagel does. Kind of backed away from that scene. I, I never actually watched Comet Bagel that much. It was literally like, there's just some times that it, it was just, it just so happened that she was streaming uh, whenever I was like editing, not ed usually like making thumbnails for the videos I was editing. It's when I was going like really hard into YouTube. And so it was like right after um, the whatever tournament BD1P held. So he held some tur tournament that that I went up against her in. And then after that, I was just like, hmm, I'll just watch. I'll just see what she's up to. She's pretty big. I mean, she is a Twitch partner, which is crazy. Super cool. Okay. Um, always blow these up, honestly, if you're in the in this realm. Maybe not always the best idea, but in my opinion, it is always the best idea. So we're going to do that, and we're going to get on out of here. I would use the horse the horse bill, but a minus two luck is actually a really, really bad stat down. Because it's not super easy to get your luck back up. And luck going down? Kind of bad. In my opinion, not the best. Uh, we do know there's going to be a reroll machine in this shop over here, which I am going to use. I could buy that. Broken modem I know is good. Do I want... I think I take glowing hourglass here. I think that is the option. And if you guys don't know how glowing hourglass works now, it is now a three chart or a one. It's a, it's a one time use item that you get three uses on every floor. I know that's a weird way to describe it, but that's pretty much the only way I know how to describe it. Um, but you get three uses every single floor and only three uses. doesn't require any charging. And it's actually both better and worse, I would say. Just because you don't need any more. You don't need to, like, charge it up and you don't have to think too hard about your uses. The only thing is you have to plan out how many times, like, you using it only three times. So... That's where you get into a little sticky situation. But now it's easier because you always have it available. Especially like uh, on Tainted Lost and Lost. And let's see. The main people I use Glowing Hourglass on are Tainted Lost and Tainted Jacob. So now like if you get hit, you just always have it available. And you usually don't get hit more than three times a floor. Usually. If you do, you're probably already going to lose the run. So GG. But yeah, it's, it's kind of an interesting change. I don't know why they exactly did it. I don't know if there was some sort of glowing hourglass game break still in the game. That's probably what it was. I mean, you can do all sorts of weird stuff glowing hourglass. But I just felt like that kind of came with the item. It's not like the item was that insanely crazy. But as I said, it's kind of both a buff and a nerf at the same time. Just having those three uses always available like just at any time super cool not having to have any charge in between them like you can use them one one after another which is pretty awesome but it's also a little a little funky i'll probably just use perthro in the item room whenever i go in it if i ever do go in it i do need to get some bombs and some keys Probably should have bought those on the last floor, but I'm glad about. I'm I'm happy with glowing hourglass. I don't think Book of Sin is really that good at all. You know what? We're using one of our charges. I did that so I could show you how the charges work. Just kidding, I didn't. Um, I just forgot that there were spikes in that room. I feel like they actually cut down a lot on the rooms that just have spikes directly in the door. Cause I feel like back when I used to like when I was like not first playing, kind of like back when I yeah back when I was first playing. I don't know why I said not when I was first playing. In my mind, it was like I was like thinking back when it first, the game first released is what I was gonna say, but then I said when I first started playing. Back when I was playing in After with Plus, I feel like there's so many more rooms that just had spikes in them. In them. I don't know. Probably just wrong. Um, I am gonna go to the shop. I think the shop is always the better play when you have one key. Why? Because 
one key can get you one item that gets you more keys one item that gets you more bombs bombs keys it can get you so much good stuff now right here did it give us literally nothing yes um and i'm i kind of want to per throw in there to see if i can get any good shop items but i don't want to use glowing hourglass unless i know i can or know that i have like a the availability to do so i don't know okay good we found you why are we getting such weird weird rooms we're not getting any good like any rooms with any good consumables it's not good it could it be because of our luck our luck stat's pretty low but i don't think it should affect us that much okay so i need keys really bad what one of the main ways i can really get keys right now or only the only way i could really get a key i keep on almost walking over that spike is by using the the, the uh, slot machine also the reason i keep almost walking that spike is i'm not even looking i'm not i'm just looking at my map i've just been staring at my map this whole time trying to figure out what i can do to get keys and my i think my solution is there are no solutions okay karen queen i'm not you don't actually see karen queen too often pretty rare boss i don't know why i feel like it's is karen queen always in caves maybe i don't go caves too often that might be the reason get us out of here now it is pretty nice to have a nose goblin and i didn't really explain what nose goblin is nose goblin is an item that gives you a five percent chance to shoot a booger tier a booger tier will stay on an enemy for like 19 ticks or something like that what is it for 10 seconds which is which is very a fair amount of time 10 seconds is a lot of damage you can do it's really nice for enemies like this that you have to shoot in the back because you get one booger to stick on the uh the area susceptible to damage and it just does damage for you you don't have to keep on like actually shooting anything kind of nice okay and this is kind of unfortunate we are getting kind of screwed um hmm. i think the play is we go to the shop we per throw if per throw goes really really badly then we glowing hourglass then what we do is we go and use the slot machine to see if we can get just one key. Okay. You know what? I have just enough money to buy both steam sale and restock. I feel like that would be so good. I feel like I have to, and there's no other order I could buy that in that would have worked well. So that was the only real option i feel like that's the play i i feel like trying to go for keys in the slot machine is not worth it i'm just doing this i know kind of a waste of a, a use but i don't have perthro anymore so i don't need to go back even if i get a key the only reason i was trying to save a perthro or not a perthro charge a glowing hourglass charge it was in case i used perthro in the item room and that's not a possibility now please my luck is just so low i can't really get much out of that okay that's fine that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know why I was really excited when we got the bombs, our key pill, and then it just turned out we had no bombs. I've not been like going crazy with bombs or anything or even keys. I opened like one gold chest that ruined me apparently. And shops have just been also just terrible for some reason. It's just a shame whenever shops are bad, like especially when shops just don't have a bomb or a key. Shops should have a bomb or a key always. They should. The chance of them having a bomber key is pretty dang good but today they're not the best and our stats are not looking amazing we do need some sort of change to happen relatively soon and dang do we see pay i think we saw pay to play or pay to win whatever it is the one that makes doors uh cost uh coins whenever we sh uh, blew up the reroll machine in the mirror realm i'm pretty sure we saw that for a split second so that would have been very very useful because we are going to get a lot of money on this in this run because we do have deep pockets okay i completely i i don't understand this it's not really super inconsistent in this game but it's decently inconsistent to where whenever you finish a room there's a chance that the turrets won't stop shooting and there's a chance that they will continue to shoot wait is that the same thing did i just say the same thing twice there's a chance that they will continue to shoot and there's a chance that they will stop shooting but the thing is, I don't know what the like scenario is that they do either, and so it just seems that like randomly, I'll just they'll just keep shooting. Like right there, 
I, I just expect him to stop. Now, is that my fault for expecting him to stop? Yes. Should I be more careful? Yes. Did I get shot twice in a row because of it? Yes. Is that extra dumb because of me? Very much so. Can we stop getting red hearts? If I get one more red heart, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cry. I swear every chest we open is just red hearts. Which is dumb. And stupid. And let me get out of here. I'm just gonna come over here. There's what we're looking for. We get a damage up. And look at that. I'm even buying another key. Do I want to buy a uh, trinket smelter? Very much so. But I'm just getting keys right now. Because I just need keys. I'm going to farm up on keys. And this is why I was thinking that restock was going to be good. If I were to if I were to decide to not go with steam cell and restock, then what would happen is, sure, later in the run, I could get more keys. And I could have gone to like the slot machine and gotten keys for the single item room. That just means that like I would run the risk of for the rest of the run, like have a considerable lack of, of consumables, most likely. Like that, 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 it was a chance at least, a pretty pretty decent chance since I'm this far and I have not bad consumables. And so I'm just like, if I take Steam Sale and restock right now, I'm guaranteed to, if I have money and there's a key in the shop or a bomb in the shop, I can buy a bunch of them. And I'm guaranteed to have a lot of money on this run because um, I have deep pockets, like I was saying. We do get a planetarium, which honestly makes it all kind of worth it. Depending on what the item is, kind of changes things. But Mercurius, not bad. Speed up, which we did need speed, but it's not the best thing ever. What it does do is it does allow us to have doors just stay open. So if we were trying to like speed run or something, it'd be very useful. Are we trying to speed run? Not exactly, I would say. Definitely not exactly speed run run. Speed run... We're definitely not speed running. What do you call it? Is it's a, it's is, do you just call it a speed run? I think that's all you call it. Just a speed run. We're this is not a speed run. Yes, that's what I think. That's I was like I don't know. For some reason it sounds like speed runs like an adjective. A speed run run. That's just redundant. For some reason it's like what the heck? Another planetarium? It's because I opened up my map and it just made everything look weird. I'm confused now. There's so many purple tears. I. So, so, so many parts of me just want to like try to like go open that gold chest, but I can't. Also, is this a double item room? With it's not a double item room. Okay, I'm just dumb. I, I don't know why in my mind I was like this is double item room and why I decided to take the book of all things. That's just a little silly wacky at me. But yeah, look at this. The turrets just don't stop. But is it the ones that have cracks in them? It might be the ones that like have cracks on top or something. I know that the, I think there is a way to tell. But I just I I, I swear I I never know. So like especially with the brimstone turrets, I I swear some of the brimstone turrets are like the most like wishy washy. I don't know the right words to use. But I think I will try to go to the trinket smelter. Nose goblins a really, it's like a it's like a really good like B tier trinket. So if I can get that gulped, then we're going to be in a pretty okay spot. We don't have another trinket to replace it, so it's not like I really need to do it. But it just puts us in a spot where we can get two pretty good trinkets at one time, which is very okay for us. Also, I'm just going to do this. I know I, I don't have keys, and that was just actually terrible. You know what? I'm not doing that. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, I, I got hit on purpose there, but I have turned myself invisible. Interesting. So what happened was I used Juice's shadow and then used glowing hourglass, and so now I'm see-through. Kind of sick, not gonna lie. The visibility now, pretty insane. Um, and what do I want to do here? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Not the smartest thing, but I'm gonna blow this up. Now. Why do I blow that up? Because I want to check something. I want to see what was available in the store. I could take Chaos right now. Not the worst idea, but there was Birthright. And I'm going to go for Birthright. I think that's the play right now. Okay, we go for Birthright. And we get some bad items. I'll be honest. Not exactly what we're looking for, but I'll take you and we know chaos is still here so was there was there some 
I think there was some money money rocks somewhere, right? <laughs> if there's some money rocks, I might be able to get enough money. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. There were money rocks. This might actually be perfect. Okay. Ooh, not perfect. No, this will be not perfect. But there are actually more rooms. This could be fine. This could be a okay. I need. I'm not. I'm not stressing out. Not freaking out. And I think we just didn't need to take. Where are you? The tower. I didn't think we need to take trinket smelter. Trinket smelter didn't seem like it was gonna be super super good for us. Um, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get our angel deal since we have a guaranteed angel deal on this floor. We're gonna go get our angel deal at least. We might be able to reroll into. Dang. I, I know for a fact we can reroll into um, chaos if I use the pause strat. Which. I don't know if that's the worst idea. Also, what? Bring Isaac back to the previous room to reverse all actions done in the room. The rewind can be used three times. Okay, and acts as the hourglass when it's all out of charges. Okay, this is weird. Oh, this is really weird. Because do I want glowing hourglass? Or do I not care about glowing hourglass anymore? If I'm going for chaos, maybe. And the thing is, if I'm going for chaos, is even worth it to go for Eden's soul? I have so many questions that will never get answers. And I'm just going to do this. One of these has to blow up the angel. Okay, wait. That actually got us a bunch of money. Okay. I think... I'm just taking this. I, I, know, I know I should probably not do what I'm doing right this second. But it's what I'm doing. Also, I like how we just are permanently like invisible i found the greatest glitch in the entire game is it only a visual glitch yes if it made me invincible that'd be super sick and by super sick i mean kind of sick a little bit weird a little bit broken but yeah we are gonna go grab ourselves chaos i think it's a good idea i hope that's nine cents okay Chaos isn't there anymore. Interesting. Okay, well, we will take this. And then what we will go do is actually go open up these chests. Now, is that just dumb? Wait, why does the contents of the chests not change? It doesn't matter. We have more keys now, so it's not even like it's a big deal. I thought the contents of the, the chests would change. That's really weird that it doesn't, even though I picked up what I did. Hmm. Also, I'm just going to take the Hermit card with to make sure I can go to the next shop. I'm just going to blow up this reroll re machine. I'm going to do the pause strat because some people are like, pause strat legit. It does do the double reroll, which is fine. Do I care about jumper cables? Not really. All I really care about is I think this bomb. Yeah. I, I just need another bomb and we are just going to go. We're going to go off. And you know what? I was just going to grab the emperor card real quick and then just go to town, but not going to do that. And I think I could probably reverse this uh, this visual bug. If I were to use Judas's soul of Judas again, I don't want to. I don't think I will. Okay, but we don't have chaos anymore, so honestly, I, it's not a. It wasn't a bad decision for us to go with Eden's Eden's soul. I think it was a bad decision to go with Eden's soul with uh, with uh, chaos. But not really like it, it made it so like it also wasn't super beneficial to even have glowing hourglass kind of. Yeah, I don't think it was the worst decision. Definitely don't think it was the best decision ever. It is what it is, though. Uh, we'll take the bombs. We're just looking for anything. Uh, we'll take you. Go to the shop. We don't care about Ventricle Razor, but it is five cents. Noticeably five cents. I don't really care about any of these. Okay, good. Very sick. Yeah, it, the fact that like all these like new games are coming out, I have not played Valorant in like five days. Just because my friends have been gone. Actually, I played it a couple days ago. A few days. Eh. I don't know if I, I've played since last weekend or since Friday. Not super long ago. So yeah, like five days ago. Also, please just have, can you guys, what is this? What's up with these chests just being like so bad? We literally have an item that's like, oh, chests are good now. No, they're not. They're quite noticeably 
bad as ever. I mean, we did get an item in one, so I can't complain about that too much. Was it a bad item? Yes. Would I have preferred, like, a regular chest? Most likely. But I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining. Okay, good. And that was a little rendition. Uh, it might have sounded, sound, sounded smooth. The, uh, not, not complaining, just explaining. That was me copying Tyler1. Not really copying him. He said, I'm not flaming, I'm just saying. That was one of the hardest lines to ever be said said in any any vocabulary ever used in the entire universe. He kind of went off with that one. All right, are you guys Tyler One fans? I feel like lots of people lots of people don't like Tyler One. Now he was he's a lot better now than he used to be because he was very toxic. There there was a time where he was just like he was the toxic guy on the internet. Or like the toxic Le League of Legends player. There's, there's a lot of toxic. Most League of Legends players are toxic, but you know what I mean. So do I want to go for the secret room item, or do I want to go for an Angel Deal item? And I think I'm just gonna go for Angel Deal items with Eden's Soul of Eden. If I run into like a better active item, I'll use it faster, I guess. But doesn't matter too much. And we'll take Gimpy here. Play-Doh cookie dough is so good. But I don't need it. And we are on Mausoleum 1, so I want to get out of here. Why do we have, like, an XL floor that's not an XL floor? This is driving me a little nuts. I don't know where I'm going. You know what? It's time for us to sacrifice. We have Gimpy. We have Bone Hearts, which equal sacrificing could be very, very beneficial and easy for us. Hopefully. Okay, good. I will go to the arcade as well, since I have good money. And I'll probably do some blood donation in a second. There's some. There's a good thing I can do with blood donation, maybe. Okay. Is there any more red heart health anywhere? Nope. Okay. I know you're like you lost a bone heart. Is that even worth it? I think it is worth it. Now this is why. I might lose another bone heart, but we're gonna do this real quick. We're actually gonna pay this out and see if we can get a blood bag if we can't then that's fine if we do then that's even better was our shop greed I can't remember actually I'm just gonna pay this out real quick a couple times see if we can get some health out of it maybe I might just go look at trinkets real fast and by look at trinkets, go look at getting some trinkets in this other slot machine. The glow, not the glowing hourglass, the, like the crystal ball slot machine. I don't know what it's called. I think it's just better to use. Because you get to get trinkets, cards, and soul hearts, which is all you need in this game. About all you need. Strength cards, okay. Cool cards, okay. I'm just going to actually just fully use this. I don't really care too much. That's fine. I don't care about you. I do care about you. And with these soul hearts, I can now go sacrifice a couple more times, which I am just going to go do that. I think that's the best play. If I could get flight for a second, we would be in a really good spot. Because if I got flight, I could just go open those chests and probably get a bunch of health. And that's fine. Probably don't want to lose my bone heart. Yeah, definitely don't want to lose my bone heart. So I'm going to grab this. If we go, if we take any damage right now, it's fine. We can not lose our soul heart and our bone heart at the same time. So as long as we have a soul heart, we won't lose our bone heart. But there we go. And that's just money. And money is not exactly what we're looking for. But that's fine. We have all the key pieces. Don't need to do any more angel fights. What I will do is go to the boss fight. I think this is pretty good. I don't think there's much else for me to do on this floor. I don't know why my hair is like so in my eyes. I really need to just go like to an actual, like a, a actual haircut place. My mom's like, I'll cut your hair this weekend. I'm like, I don't know if I want you to cut my hair again. I, nothing wrong with like my mom cutting my hair. She's been doing great. Very happy that she's been doing it. Like very sick. I'm just too, I'm so lazy and it's so much more convenient just to stay in the house. What I will say is when it comes to like layering and like all that, my hair looks, my hair looks bad right now. My hair just like, 
constantly look bad. Like in the front, some days it just it, there's like no layering in the front, and some of my, like the hair on the top of my head, some of it's so much shorter than it really should be. Like I don't know if I can explain it. Like the like the hair in my in the front of my head has been like looking kind of like weirdly thin. But that's because like there's hair like up here on the top of my head. This hair doesn't even drop down to my forehead. Like all this hair doesn't even drop down to my forehead. The only hair that drops into my forehead is like the hair that's right here. Now, should this hair go all the way front in the front? No, but like this hair that's in the middle of my head, it should go a little bit further than that. I don't know what happened and why it's so short. It's really, really funky. I'm very confused by it all. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go next floor. So, there's a lot of things I need to, that needs to happen for my hair to finally look good. I don't know if those are ever gonna happen. Okay, um, I'm just gonna full donate to you. That's actually really good. Please be like a full health for some random reason. And I'm just gonna use both my bombs right now. I got really scared. It's like, did I just kill the, the beggar? Luckily I didn't. And I know this is not a lot of red heart health. Honestly, was it worth it to get that red heart health? Probably not, but I can probably get more bombs on this floor. I should be fine. And what are you? Two of hearts is actually quite decent. I'm gonna take that around with me. I know I don't really have too much use for it right this second until I actually find some red heart health. I'll be good. Oh my gosh. But yeah, any, there's not really many other updates that I have in life right this second. Um, honestly, oh my gosh, I lost the bone heart. That's crazy. There's just so much going on in this room. So much going on. It's just been, today I've literally just like, I was just like in bed for the longest time just playing Pokemon. That's just how it goes. Pokemon's so much fun. I will take you. I don't know if I'm going to exactly need you. Because I really need Red Heart Health. But you're also going to bring me Soul Heart Health. Which is another thing I also need. I almost just walked into that rock. I don't know what it is. But I've been like really dropping the ball with just walking into the most random stuff. I could probably do the boss arena room. If I decided to lose more health. Do I want to lose more health? No. Could I lose more health? Yes. Uh, and you are actually one away, or two away from don't, nope. I thought you were closer to another payout. Apparently I was wrong. Our damage right now is not looking too spicy. It's actually looking kind of not spicy, in my opinion. I'm actually gonna go in here. Since I got that soul heart, I wasn't gonna go in here, but since I got the one soul heart, I'm like, you know what? I'll be fine. Okay. Um, Glyphic Balance is actually pretty solid. I do like that. Active Contrition's pretty bad, in all honesty. And I. Earnest Souls is fine. Honestly, those are just three just not good items. Or not. Not like. They weren't bad. They're just not preferable, I would say. It's probably the better way to say it. I don't know. Not, not the best it could have been. So, I need bombs. I know it's my fault that I have bombs. I know I was talking about going to the boss. Some people get annoyed when I'm like, I could go into the boss arena room, then continues to pick up a bunch of soul hearts. It's very, very dumb. If you don't have one heart of health currently because you've taken a lot of damage, don't lose health to go to the boss arena room. It, it is 100% just not worth it. Usually. If you're at like two hearts of health, yeah, sure, you can do it. If you have like a, star, uh, like a, a sun card and you have like three red hearts of health, do it like you're, you'll be fine but don't be dumb about it don't like be be like what I was or do what I was like about to do which is like lose like four hearts just to do it dumb maneuvers um I'm actually gonna take alabaster box I'm gonna be honest alabaster box pretty garbage but could be great if I get a little bit more money you're literally mine present and yeah, I know Alabaster Box could be bad, but I have so much health right now, so I don't really care too much. And I feel like this could be... You suck. This could be the secret room. Oh my gosh, can we stop? Like, Curse of the Maze, you're going a little too crazy right now. It's making me angry. Why are you so bad? Why are you so bad? Like, the actual worst. And I'd be like, why did I not just go pick up the Red Heart health? I... I was trying to like think about what was happening in my life at that time. Like, do do I want to pick it up right there? I was like, maybe not. Okay, don't touch my stuff ever again, you little goblin. You can be goblin on these nuts in a second. I had to say it. I'm sorry. 
and I do have to use this not have to actually I do have to I have to use this before I go to the boss fight so let's do this pretty garbage item I'm gonna be honest pretty much the last thing I could have asked for or said I wanted do I need a key what am I trying to do right now I don't know what I'm trying to do right now was I looking for bombs maybe that's what I was looking for and black rune is actually crazy okay we're gonna come back here and use black rune in a second I just want to actually use the two of hearts uh, effectively before I go do anything else and I don't know what what my hair is doing it's just so so many it's so messed up I don't know why I keep just walking into rooms I'm so not used why is the it's, uh, that's why it's because the rooms not where it was a second ago I was gonna say like I don't usually do this as much as I'm doing it right now now will I still like walking into it being dumb yes also I thought you just took that health from me again buckaroo okay that's fine so now I use the two of hearts that's why I was like trying to like figure out do I want to use the two hearts now or later or, like I don't know what I was looking for um, but I will actually use potato peeler four times uh, the reason being that I don't need red heart health anymore since I am going for angel deals now do I still need red heart health yes like sure I still need red heart health but red heart health is not something that I need an abundance of it's not like I'm gonna die since I don't have red heart health I do have many ways that I can use red heart I mean I have some I have a uh, dark bum which allows me to turn soul hearts in or turn red heart health into soul hearts I have gimpy which means I can take damage and get soul hearts I'm not like in a spot where I can't get soul hearts I'm not gonna be in a bad situation I shall be fine I am not concerned whatsoever what I'm concerned about is how bad the present was I'm actually so sad about Samson's ball and chain now is it fine since I can get spiders by like going over rocks sure it's fine but I'm about to like get to a point where I'm not getting rocks anymore and once I stop getting rocks I start getting sad I'll say meat boy is kind of insane kind of the like potato peeler is one of the worst things you can possibly get from dark bum I'd say almost anything else is better <laughs> from him just because I I don't know in this situation right now it kind of worked out but I still would have liked a damage up you know like a damage up anything anything up all I got was health down meat boy up I don't need my meat boy coming up is he fun yes do I have like a a, a large amount of health will I have a lot of health this whole run probably that's why I didn't really care about giving up my red heart health I've really already been in that angel deal right no I, I don't think I have actually so look at this some charge I'm taking you might as well get my health up we have been in here gosh darn it this is exactly what I was afraid of happening Oh, look, I've gotten so many charges from this. Give me more charge. Okay, I'm not going to waste this and get more charge. But we are only a couple soul, heart, soul hearts away from filling this up. And very important distinction between Soul of Eden and Alabaster Box is, I say this every single time I get it, Alabaster Box, no matter what room you're in, it will give you angel items. However, if you have Soul of Eden... It gives you two items specifically from the pool that you currently are in so be very 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 cautious about where you use soul of Eden it doesn't matter where you use alabaster box all the, the only thing that matters to alabaster box is the information of have you taken have you taken a devil deal this game if you've taken a devil deal this game you only get one angel item if you've taken no devil deals you get two angel items it's like right now I get two angel items plus I get a bunch of soul hearts and look at that we got a damage multiplier of 1.2 times and we're actually just full on solar health and this is the way this is just a very very good run now and I'm gonna go to the curse room I I can get the soul heart back that I mean we saw the soul heart right there we have enough health to get all this back we're fine and false PhD is not good enough for me to take I feel like actually I'm max tier 8 so this is actually good they might be like why does max tier 8 matter right there also I, know, I realize I left the pill the reason why max uh, tier 8 matters is because the only the only stat increase that I care about when it comes to pills is tier 8 up anything that's not tier 8 up just is is not 
super super important to my run because I can't get like a damage up so if I can't get a tier 8 uphill then I'm okay with getting pretty much any other stat down in this entire game I like and with false PhD you can see what stat downs you're gonna get if they wanted to make false PhD like kind of more of a bad item they could just make they could just change it to where you don't know what pill you're about to take and it randomizes all pills and just you, you get a bad a bad effect but also get like a damage up with it I think that'd be kind of cool also very annoying so I'm glad they don't do that because I would actually probably rage about that but yeah right here we're not taking it I can actually take this tier 8 down um, the reason why is because I actually have more tier 8 than technically I'm allowed to have if you guys don't know how it works is with tier 8 especially uh, it's, it's the main one that you'll see it with um, is you have a, a, a tier cap right and your tier cap is 5 we have a fire rate up item uh, that's allowing us to have a tier rate of above five of, of six. So right now we have six tier rate. If I were to pick up a tier rate up item, my tier rate would technically go up above six. But the thing is, since there is a tier cap, it doesn't actually go above six. So my my like hidden tier rate is like probably like seven point something right now. And that's why when I did the tier rate down right there, it didn't actually give me a tier rate down because it actually took away from like that seven tier eight that I have, so I remain still with the, the my tier cap of six, if that makes any sense. So it kind of goes back into the idea of like how rock bottom works. Is there's always these stats that are happening behind the scenes that you don't really see and you don't really know what they are. It'd be really cool if it did like let you know like how much like especially with like tier cap how much you have like stockpiled up, because I can get a little bit riskier with my tier eight down pills and stuff right now. But, like, there's not many times that you really need to know if you can take a tier 8 down. Like, right here, I'll take a speed down for a damage up. What's really nice is that since I have a damage multiplier, any damage up that I can get right now is increased. So, it's actually better than, like, it normally would be. Humble Bundle's insane. Aw, oh, man. You know what? I need you. I know that was dumb of me to take damage right there, but I just want to see if I could go like in and out right there real quick. Okay, that's good. But yeah, I think false PhD was pretty a pretty good take. This is like it, like I'm, like the only other good pills I can really get are like a health upgrade and a luck upgrade. But I my luck's already so bad that I'm like I'm not really like farming for luck. I don't have any luck based tier effects that I care about at least. Like yeah, I don't have any luck based tier effects really. So it it don't matter. It do not matter. Okay, we'll go this way. Sorry I didn't let you pick up your red heart, but you were kind of stupid and dumb, so I'm not letting you do anything. And I f keep on forgetting we have the map. I don't know why. I kind of like, on last one, I was like, huh, I feel like a lot of the maps revealed to me. I'm like, duh. It is literally revealed to you. That is what's happening. You have the map. Okay, good. We're just getting so much stuff. I, I just have a surplus of health. Now, if you ever have a uh, uh, glyph, glyph of yeah, if you ever have glyph of balance, is that what even what's called? Why can't I think of it? Also, I'm just gonna take this. Why not? Eh, do I? I book of shadows is pretty good. I don't care what I take. But if you ever have glyph of balance, uh, it is important to know how it works. And the way that it works is it will drop at the at, your room reward will always be what you have the least of. So right now, I have 27 cents. I have full full like full health i have 15 keys and i only have 11 bombs so it's gonna drop me bombs now i still have less bombs than anything else right now so if i go to the next room and get a drop it's gonna be bombs again or it can be a chest or any other other drop but now like look at this i have 15 bombs and 15 keys so if it just drops a regular consumable it's gonna drop me either a key or bomb next time now why did it just drop money that was deep pockets kind of ruining my example but yeah as you see we get a key now but now we have more keys and we have bombs so the next drop we're gonna get on the ground is gonna be a bomb and so you can actually use that to your advantage and kind of manipulate your drops if you're careful with it so as you see we got a bomb right now now we have more bombs than keys so if you're ever trying to manipulate it and for example you're trying to get soul hearts with it because you can get soul hearts with a uh, glyph of balance um, so let's say we have three red heart health and no solar health and we have like bombs keys and all that It's gonna drop us soul hearts every single room that we get a room reward for unless it's a chest If you see that soul heart don't pick it up 
just keep on running through the floor, and it's going to keep dropping you soul hearts and soul hearts and soul hearts. And you can make it so you get full soul heart health by just not picking up soul hearts with Glyph of Balance. Because the reason why is because you still have the least amount, your, your soul hearts are the thing you have the least of. But if you pick one up, then guess what? You no longer have the least amount of soul hearts, or least amount of consumables being soul hearts. Kind of weird. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't feel like explaining it better, I'm going to be honest. I started explaining it, I'm like, oh, head hurt. Explanation bad. But yeah, so basically, if you're trying to get, like, a lot of keys, and you get a key on the ground, like, especially in the beginning of the run, just don't pick up the key yet. Just leave the key on the ground and let, like, the keys just build up. And let's go. That means we now have a 2.2 .2, or 2.4 times damage multiplier. Sorry, I added, didn't multiply. And I'm just going to take everything. And I'm just going to go fight Mega Satan. I don't know. I don't think there's any reason to not fight Mega Satan. Our damage is really, really good. Our tier rate's kind of bad, but that's because of Ease Mascara. It actually lowers our fire rate. And I am using the Reverse Strength card. That way we do a lot more damage. Um, it actually doesn't make us do damage, more damage. It actually has the health of all enemies. What's cool about that is that actually means that we do an extra two times damage to all enemies. If, if you think about it like that. So it actually allows you to stack damage multipliers almost. It's not really stacking damage multipliers, but if you have a two times damage multiplier, you usually can't stack another two times damage multiplier. But if you have a two times damage multiplier and you half all the enemy's health, you effectively just gave yourself four times damage in total. Pretty sick. And I think it's about to, I think it ran out. It doesn't last too long. It actually, I probably should have waited to use it. Maybe it was a good time to use it. I don't even know. Good. And you're already dead. We have so much damage. Like, we are so strong right now. And was it 47 minutes? These runs have been so long recently. I've just had the kind of bad stats in the beginning of the runs, I feel like. This one probably could have been... I don't know if this one even could have been that much faster. I mean, I did have Mercurius that I didn't use this entire time. Mercurius is just... If you're trying to go for, like, a really good, like, min-max run, you don't want to use Mercurius because you want to get as many charges as you can and all that good stuff. Now, did I need to, like, get charges for anything? Not really. I, there's not really a point in the run where I needed charges for anything. So, I don't know. Mer I could have used Mercurius more. But I don't, even, I don't even care about Mercurius. It's just one of those ones that's kind of mid. It can be really good, but it's also... It, it, it's usually just not super, super great. Um, Why not? I'm not really too concerned. I literally have health generation. I have Gimpy, Satanic Bible, and I have a uh, Dark Bum. So I'm not really too concerned. I do want to try to get like an Emperor card, a Hermit card, some sort of card that allows me to teleport out of the Delirium fight if I get there really fast. That would be quite nice. And well, I don't know. What do I, do I need anything? I'm not even going to try to like Glyph of Balance anything. The only time you really have to like rig with Glyph of Balance is whenever you're like really really low on like soul heart health or like when you're just really trying to get only keys because keys are more important than bombs if you disagree with that then that's your opinion but in my opinion keys are more important than bombs because bombs get you into secret rooms but item rooms are going to be better for you on average and this could be delirium i don't think it's going to be even if it is delirium i'm not super concerned I mean, as you see, it's not Delirium. We have so much damage right now that we probably could fight Delirium either way. Uh, we need one more Syringe for uh, Spun, which would be very cool. And, okay. We know for a fact that one of these is in Delirium. And the one that's not Delirium is... Actually, that one could have technically been Delirium, I think. No, it couldn't have. Never mind. I was like, yeah, it could extend two rooms... Or another room down. The reason why you know something it can or can't be the Delirium fight is if it can fit a 2 by 2 boss boss or, re or like boss room without bordering any other rooms it's so like this room right here you cannot have a two by two room it would not work it would extend over here and border these two rooms to the left this one right here could be delirium though the thing is we are in the bottom part of the map so this also can't be delirium i'm pretty sure if you guys don't know if you guys don't know maps are 13 by 13 or that's the grid that every single floor uh sits on so I'm just going to do this. Why? We get full charge with this. So it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so every every time you go to a floor, you're sitting on a 13 by 13 grid. As you see right here, you can tell that we're in the bottom right 
corner of the 13 by 13 grid and the delirium fight cannot extend outside of that 13 by 13 grid Judge. which is not super important to know but it's important it's, it's good to know like right there we knew kind of pretty confidently that that wasn't going to be delirium Jeez, are you gonna take me for everything i'm worth is that your plan that's crazy okay we're doing that uh and we know that the delirium fight is probably gonna be up to the right or up to the left there is a small chance that it could be on that weird offshoot in the bottom left but i don't think it's gonna be so how do i get up from where i am i'm so confused i, I see now where it is Oh, my, it hurt my brain. I'm going to test top right first because I think that the delirium fight is just going to be straight up here. Like, just the room that's straight. It's pretty just straight up. Good. That's cool. If we had money because power, I would just actually do that as much as I possibly could and get as much money as possible. But I cannot be bothered right this second. That sounds like a lot of effort. That was that bomb doesn't even wasn't even good for anything. Yeah. Also, this this right here can't be delirium. Once again, it can't it, delirium can't go off the 13 by 13 grid. So, if delirium was in this room, it'd extend one to the right past the 13 by 13 grid, which is not possible. Bad damage, but it's fine. And Mama Mega is actually kind of huge right here. It's not like super important or anything, but it does allow us to instantly clear like, every single one of these rooms, which is cool because it gives us a lot of spiders. If I were to just run throughout this entire floor, we we're just going to like get completely full on spiders, which is kind of sick. Now, I'll use the sun card. That's awesome. I'll use the lover's card, which I don't even know where that went. There we are. There's the lover's card. And I don't think this should, this, yeah, this shouldn't be delirium. I know I say that as I'm going in, but... Shouldn't it be? That's really good. I'm not really too concerned about anything at this point. We know where the secret room is. Do I want to go get that? Yes. But after this. And poor Babylon. If I could lose health, that'd be awesome. That's not really possible. I'm going to go straight over here. And Delirium might be where I was talking about. He could be off that little weird offshoot in the bottom left. But he's probably all the way to the top left right now. Holy, Holy card's kind of useless for me. It's kind of cool, so I'll just pop it. But yeah, we are so, so strong. And we did lose our, like, invisibility. That was just the visual glitch. Like, look at this. Look how many spiders we're getting. Everything's a spider. We just walk into a room. Boom. Spiders. How did you survive? Oh, you're a, you're a crown champion. The crown champions, for some reason, have so much more health than, like, any other champion in the game. Okay, sweet. And I'm looking for, like, magic mush. You know, anything. This is why we're trying to... F I'm just going to full clear a little bit. We're looking for crawl spaces as well. Crawl spaces are very cool. Now, this is probably going to be de the delirium fight, so I'm just going to do this. I am trying to keep uh, the sun card on me. Because the sun card will keep me alive. If I get low in health, it's a full heal. And that's crazy that this was not Delirium. Okay. Well, we at least got God Fan. Is, I don't know who started calling it God Fan. I feel like just a lot of people call it God Fan, though. I like God Fan. God Fan, good. Yeah, we are going to go back down to this boss. That's crazy that that's Delirium. In my mind, it made more sense that the top left or top right was going to be Delirium. You know what? We don't need luck anymore. Luck be a lady. And look at that. We get pl plus 0.9 damage just from that. Which is like, duh. Why would we not take that offer? I don't care about that. my luck anymore. I just want big boy damage. Lemon party. Speed down. You don't need speed when you're fighting Delirium. You just need health. That's all you need in life. And look at all these spiders. My game's, I think, starting to like glitch out a little bit. Because it doesn't understand like why there's so many spiders. I think there should be a super secret room over here. Wait, how did I get... Can I still get... How did I get a luck up right there? That's weird. Yes, yeah, so I'm just full clearing because I can. There's not a reason... There's no reason to not full clear. Like, I'm just getting spiders because of it. And each of my spiders does 50 damage. Pretty insane stuff. A little bit silly wacky if you ask me. 
Okay, uh, the full card could have been cool if I had a reroll. Don't have a reroll. Rest in peace. But, like, look at this. As soon as my spiders get close, it's GG for Delirium. Hey, you made me lose my thing. Ooh, and we get a Joker card. That's kind of cool. And look at that. I don't even know. Th did the spiders do that damage? I'm confused. Come down here, segment boss. There we go. I feel like most of that damage was just spiders. Kind of crazy. We were really OP. I wasn't really worried about fighting Delirium. I always just try to like play it as safe as possible. This was not one of those one runs that I was like, this is the perfect run we literally can't lose. There's definitely a chance of losing still on this run. Now, is it a high chance? No. But was there a chance? Yeah. There's probably there's still like a chance that we could have lost if things went really bad. Kind of. Not really. We had a lot of damage. But anyways, that right there is gonna be win number 289 in a row. Did I say 290 in a row before the beginning of this video? I don't remember. But anyways, that's gonna be win number 289 in a row. If you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel, helps me grow. Thank you guys all for watching. And as always, it's in Preets. Peace out. Bye.